Welcome to this color grading CapCut PC tutorial with me David. At the end of this day, you are going to be able to professionally color grade any footage no matter what it is as long as it's 10 bits or but it's not going to break on you and even if it's 8 bits it's going to stand time so if this is something you're interested in, remember you want to watch to the end because i'm going to be showing you how to collect color grade this particular footage for other of you who don't watch videos to the end good luck with that because you're not going to learn for all of you who stay to the end of tutorials when you want to learn this video is for you because i'm going to show you how to color grade professionally without wasting much of your time let's get straight right to it so this is the first footage we're going to be working with as you can see it's a model we have here this is a log footage and the first step i want to do when i'm on CapCut pc and i have my footage in my timeline is to click on these three dots and i want to click on color oscillate scope and i want to show that because i'm going to be working on that as you can see you see these lines you see where it's it at the moment i want it to be somewhere close to the top for the upper band and close to the lower band this is me just color correcting and this is going to show also in this wave i will just color correct it first and to color correct it i'll go to adjust that will be the first thing i'll do then i'll come to curves now curves is a very important part of color correction you want to always have it and i'm going to divide it into parts this will be the first part this is where i'm going to put one of the anchor all you see it says add bits so i'm going to add one of the first bits there second bit would be added here okay and third bit would be added here okay so that's the first stage of this so now i will just let you know what each dot means this dot at the top is the white the one beneath is the black all right and this is the highlight this is shadow and this is the mid tone so it's very simple not complicated again i'll just quickly go over it white black so this if you bring it down it reduces the white take it up it increases the white same with this if you bring it down it reduces the black and increases the black then you have your highlights you have your shadow and you have your mid tone so it's very important to know those very basic and what we are looking for here actually is just to you know get this like i said to the top and get this part to the bottom so to do that you can start moving your we are trying to get the s shape so you can start moving it like that okay you might want to move it a bit and take this to the top like that so once you do that you start to see we are getting close to what we want so it might not totally get us there but we want to get close to the s shape as you can see we are we've gotten close to the bottom here so we try to do it for the top again and see how close we can get that to the top okay you don't want to overdo it as you can see we are getting that s shape already in the image you are already getting the s shape which is cool you can just bring this a little bit downwards again just a little and now you can see we have that s shape it's totally up to you you might not want to overdo it depending on what but you just want the s shape as you can see we have that s shape so that is the first step usually then now we'll come back and we'll go to basics and this is where we start to adjust different aspect of the image we've color corrected it the way we want it it's closer to the top so now we tend to have the best color out of this video now let's go one step at a time temperature works like temperature you can actually reduce the temperature as you can see it changed that there you can actually put that back in if you want to make it warmer that's what you get but usually what i like to work on first is the saturation okay so you, as you can see as i move this it tends to give us that good saturation of the image 
as you can see and if we go down we can also adjust the exposure brightness and all those things but i would like to go with the hsl tab for the meantime because i have some specific colors in this image and i want them to pop eg we have the blue we have the green so let's work on that so I'll click on the green and if i increase this going to the left like this you can see we have actually made the green more greener if we reduce it you see we get the green totally out so depending on what you're looking for in your video so now for me we want to get more of the green so i'm going to put it at that point and the blue i will try to adjust that to see what it does so we are good there and you can see she has some blue or we we'll say purple so let's adjust the blue okay so just give it that pop that extra pop the tint you see you can change the blue you can actually make it so it's totally up to you and for the lightness you can actually move that a bit totally up to you once more for me i just want to increase the saturation on the blue because i want the blue to pop i'll go to purple again and see if that will add a little or not and if this would add also and again we can you know just work on that basically i think those are the two most prominent colors in it as you can see we can add some extra orange to give it that orange you feel you know just making it pop making the image yours and you have that looking gorgeous already and now we can go back to basics and this is where we want to make some other adjustment if you feel it's too bright as you can see you always want to watch this you don't want it to go over this line you don't want it to go over this line so you can either increase the exposure you, as you can see it's too much that's too much you can reduce it if you want so depending on what you are looking to get you can reduce it that way so the exposure is not that much and we'll move on to highlights and we can do that or just increase the highlight a bit okay so you can see we just increase the highlight to 21 shadows you might want to increase that or reduce that totally up to you like i said so as you can see we are giving it that cinematic look already and if we play this video this is what we get already so you see popping colors are there and it's cool all right so we can go on and you can decide to reduce the whiteness or increase the whiteness totally up to you for me i'll just increase that a bit blacks i want to leave that to the way it is and sharpen you don't want to always mess with this let me show you what happens when you do that so you can see you you've changed the image totally so you don't always want to do that especially when you have something you can just do a little of that but for me if i don't see the need to use it i definitely don't use it clarity you can also work with clarity as you can see so it gives it that clarity as you can see so not bad at all sparkle is just the sparkle you see on your image if you want a clean image you don't need it because if you do sparkle you can see looking at this area you can see it has made some damages you don't want that so you take that out we don't want to work with fade if you want to make focus on R, then you can increase the vignette doing something like that or just making it that way all right but since the focus is the model i will just put a little vignette so if i play that this is what we get yes we've made the model the focus and now you can see the image pop okay you can see this for yourself we've gotten that image to where we want it i'll reduce the vignette a bit because i don't want it overtaking what i want in this so i'll just leave it at a bit seven so seven is fine and if we play it once more this is what we get okay so now you can see where we went from and what we've gotten you can see how cool looking and how easy it is to color grade your images your videos without complications yes i have some other videos you can watch and i hope you enjoyed them see you on the next one stay blessed